Today we're going to discuss how to calibrate a Truax grain drill, both with the uh, grain seed box and the fluffy seed box, which would be used for planting uh, prairie grasses such as big blue stem or little blue stem. This particular drill is a, an eight foot wide model that uh, has seed openings every seven and a half inches. And that's important to, to know when you do your, uh, your math cal your calculations. What we are going to do first is uh, uh, do the calibration for the, for the soybeans. And we can do that uh, using a method of stationary calibration. The first step in doing a stationary calibration is to, first of all, bring the, uh, the tractor and um, planter in onto a, uh, a solid surface, level surface, and uh, engage the, uh, the parking brake of the tractor. And then uh, the next step is to put a jack under the drive wheel and uh, lift it up so that the uh, drive wheel can turn freely while the uh, machine is uh, stationary. The next step is to take hoses off of three of the, uh, the seed meters and uh, we've taken two of those off already and we'll take the third one off now. After taking the drop tubes off of the seed meters, we have uh, placed uh, plastic bags around the seed meters to collect the soybean seed. We have uh, added enough soybean seed into the hoppers to uh, completely cover the, uh, the meter area inside the, inside the grain drill box so that we have plenty of seed available to, uh, to do the calibration. The next step will be to uh, use the drive wheel that we have suspended and uh, turn it 30 times in order to uh, collect enough seed to, uh, to do a proper calibration. 30. And at this point, we can take the seed bags off and uh, we can combine the seeds into one container and do a, uh, a weight on those and we'll weigh those in ounces. We have taken the seed that uh, we collected in the three bags and have uh, combined them into a single bag and weighed them in ounces. There is 40 ounces of seed in, uh, in this particular bag and in order to convert that to pounds per acre, simply multiply those 40 ounces times 6.25. In this case, we have uh, uh, the machine calibrated to deliver 250 pounds of seed per acre. In order to reduce that uh, amount, you can simply adjust the opening in the seed uh, meter in order to uh, reduce the amount of seed that flows through the meter. And once those adjustments are made, simply repeat the process that we showed you with uh, turning the, uh, the drive wheel 30 times and collecting the seed and uh, uh, determine the new weight that has uh, uh, been distributed through the meter and uh, you can make those calculations again and continue that process until you get the desired rate of seed uh, per acre. You will notice in your instruction manuals that uh, there will be a, a guidance chart uh, with the type of seed that you're planting and the desired um, seeding rates per acre and then uh, you, it will give you an estimate on what uh, meter opening uh, will be uh, recommended. Those are to be used as starting points only. Uh, to, in order to get an accurate calibration you should uh, do the, uh, the process that we have described. In order to adjust the meter openings, this particular model has a, uh, a slide that uh, when you uh, loosen the lower handle, you can slide the box left or right. Uh, the lower the number on the meter, the, uh, the lower the amount of seed that will be uh, uh, released from the meters. So uh, in order to get your desired uh, amount of seed per acre, you'll simply have to adjust that opening 
and uh, do the calibration process uh, over and over until you get the, uh, the desired rate. The next portion that we want to discuss is how to calibrate the fluffy seed box. Fluffy seeds are seeds with appendages or awns on them that make it difficult to, uh, for those seeds to go through a regular grain seed uh, meter on a drill. Uh, examples of those seeds would be big blue stem, little blue stem, Indian grass, Canada wild rye. The stationary procedure that we showed in the soybean uh, calibration can be used in uh, calibrating for the fluffy seeds, but it's been our experience with this particular model that the stationary calibration tends to underestimate how much uh, is being delivered through the meters. So we're going to demonstrate a, uh, a technique in where we uh, drive the machine over a prescribed distance and then uh, collect that seed and do the same type of, uh, of weighing procedure that, uh, that we showed you earlier. Unlike the seed box where we just did the soybeans or the small seed box, uh, the uh, adjustments for the meters for the, uh, for the fluffy seed box is controlled by a set of gears that are uh, uh, attached by a chain. The different gear ratios that you see here uh, allow the, the meter to run at different speeds. As you move the chain from right to left, it increases the output of the fluffy seed box. And of course, as you go from left to right, it would reduce that, um, that output. Much like we did with the grain box, uh, we have disconnected the hoses from three of the seed meters in the fluffy seed box and uh, uh, put plastic bags around each of the hoses. We will drive the machine 500 feet that we have uh, measured out with the tape and uh, we will collect the seed that is uh, metered out over that 500 feet and then combine that seed together and weigh it, just like we did with the soybeans. Okay, we have combined the, uh, the seed that was collected in each of the three bags into a single bag and weighed them uh, the same way we did with the soybeans and uh, weighed them in ounces. Uh, but for this uh, calibration technique, instead of the, uh, the math that uh, we had with the soybeans, we uh, multiply the number of ounces by 2.7 in order to get the number of pounds per acre of uh, seed that is metered out through the, uh, through the machine. In this case, we had about three ounces of seed per acre, or per, uh, uh, for the three units, and doing the math on that turns out to be about 8.2 pounds of uh, bulk seed per acre. And if you want to uh, adjust that uh, seeding rate, then simply move the, uh, uh, the chain across that series of sprockets in order to increase or decrease the output through the meters.